get in a defensive stance with your feet set. You're neither. So look at this Rockets player. Look at his feet. They're moving inward. You're not getting outward. Not lean towards the screen. Look at Eric Gordon right here. Watch him leaning towards the screen that way. Boom. You're going to get beat the other way. Got to have more urgency guarding LaMelo Ball. You got to get up, okay? You have ample time to get up and get your feet set and be in a defensive stance. Why you choose whatever this is... I if you're Alperin Sangoon, you cannot be getting to the middle of nowhere. You have a player you need to guard. You need to be cognizant of that. This player is going to kind of come over and help a little bit. But Sangoon can't just full-on go towards the ball when Plumlee's coming right here. I mean, it's just... I don't know what Eric Gordon's doing. You can't go under a screen when there's this much space to go over the screen. You're just going too far under, and this player is going to be on the other side well ahead of you. Okay, this is a down screen out of a baseline, out of bounds. You do not switch this. Just get attached your man with your arms out so this player can't curl. He has to go out and this player can get over the screen. Instead, you switch late. So now look. Now this player isn't able to get underneath on the switch. So this is just this is just embarrassing. This shot goes up. How does this Rockets player, this, how does nobody for the Rockets box out? <laughs> If you're Garrison Matthews here, the shot goes up. Sangoon is recovering back here. You've got to box out here. Like, I, we've got two Rockets boxing out the same person. Hey, what is this Rockets player doing guarding P.J. Washington? Stop. Why, stay with P.J. Washington. Sangoon is blocking out the charge circle area. Where? So what are you doing here? Why are you not staying with P.J. Washington? Because now look. Now you're gonna not you can't guard PJ Washington. You're out of position. Here we go. Down screen. You gotta get attached to your man. You're seeing it. Get your arms out so this player can't curl. You give this player no time to get over the screen when he can curl like that. This is just a total lack of effort. Turnover. How does Jalen Green let Terry Rozier get ahead of him? Like just sprint back. Like, be disappointed during a dead ball. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we got another turnover here. Stop, okay? So right now, Eric Gordon should be getting back, and Alperin Sangoon should be getting back. I, wh what are either of them doing? Okay, Kenyon Martin Jr. has no chance of guarding LaMelo Ball like this. Okay, so Eric Gordon needs to be underneath the three-point line, back to the baseline, all right? So feet set, defensive stance. So when LaMelo Ball comes this way, I can stunt. I don't have to move my feet. I will easily be able to recover. But Eric Gordon's nowhere to be found. That forces help at the rim, and now there's no one to block out Plumlee. What is this Rockets player here doing? Okay, Eric Gordon is guarding the ball. Stop. Stay with your man so you can box him out. Why are you coming to no man's land? Your Alperin Sangoon, your uh, this Rockets player went under. This pass gets made. You got to recover back to Mark Williams. I, why is Alperin Sangoon just standing here? What what are you doing? Don't guard like this. I don't. What, what? Show your hands when you're gambling towards the ball like this. Like, look at this. So P.J. Washington just turned. If you had just showed your hands, now you're immediately able to get up uh, and start battling for real estate with him. But because your hands were gambling, look at this. Now you can't do it until he's already, he just picked up a step on you. He's in the paint now. It, okay, so the Hornets come up with this loose ball right now, okay? It is imperative that this Rockets player gets back. It doesn't matter that there's another deflection here. Get back, okay? If Charlotte doesn't come up with it, you can get back in the play. But you're just kind of standing around aimlessly right now, and now look what takes place. If you're running drop coverage, Alperin Sangoon has got to drop towards the ball. This player cannot turn the corner on him. It just can't, look at this. You just just cannot happen. So if you're doubling in the post, Kenyon Martin Jr. has got to rotate down here. Like, I, I mean, you just have to. Because first of all, this drop-off pass gets made. You know, that's two points. But the other thing is, is, you know, there's no one to box out now. 
Okay, if you're Eric Gordon here, you don't catch this ball. All right, stop. Be disappointed during a dead ball. Right now, you got to get back. Like, what? Ugh. If you want to be in the gaps right now, now you have to be back to the baseline in a defensive stance with your feet set. If your feet take you inward like this, and that's because you're not in a defensive stance, you're not getting outward. The Rockets trap, if you're Kenyon Martin Jr., okay, Sangoon you know is coming back here. You're guarding the ball. Your only focus can be the ball. Look at Kenyon Martin Jr. here. Why is he trying to gamble on a pass like that?